Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about path for MCT, that is Microsoft Certified Trainer. What do we have agenda for today? I'll start with what is MCT? What are the prerequisites? How you can enroll it like a step-by-step -step process? What are the benefits you get as a Microsoft Certified Trainer? And at the end, we'll talk about how long is it valid and how you can renew your MCT. Now, who is MCT or what is MCT? According to Microsoft, MCT or Microsoft Certified Trainers are the premium personnel that has expertise both on the technical side as well as instructional side of things. Now, to put it in simple terms, if you are someone who is passionate about teaching or who is who loves teaching and at the same time have expertise in one of the Microsoft technologies, then you are the fit or you are a good fit to be an MCT trainer. Now, what are the prerequisites? As, as I said in our previous slide, MCT should have expertise in two things one technical or one of the technologies and the second thing is instructional skills so the prerequisites has two things one you need to have at least one associate level certificate on any microsoft technologies again a fundamental certifications are not eligible like if you take azure like az 900 which is azure cloud fundamentals or Azure data fundamentals, which is DP 900. So all these fundamental certifications are not qualified as a uh, technical skills prerequisite. You need to have at least associate level certificate. Now, once you have technical certificate, then the second prerequisite is you need to get instructional skills certificate. I know earlier uh, Microsoft had an option where you could uh, submit the professional reference from you know any any teaching institutes or from from your colleagues that that states that okay i've got experience in teaching but i believe now uh, they removed it at least when i applied for it i didn't see any uh, professional experience reference as an option all they had was they had i think about 10 um, vendors that they listed there from which you can get yourself trained and get instructional skills certificate. So at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about, talk about the vendor that I picked and why I feel like uh, they have the better price value uh, for your instructional skills certificate. Now, once you have these two uh, things checked out, now you can go ahead and apply for MCT. So what is that step-by-step -step process looks like? So I would highly recommend creating your profile in Microsoft Learn website. That's learn.microsoft.com. And I, I strongly uh, recommend you do this when you actually start your Microsoft journey itself, like whether you are already working on any Microsoft technologies or you're newly getting into Microsoft uh, tools and technologies and wants to pursue your career. I would highly recommend uh, creating your profile in there because it automatically integrates with everything that you do uh, you know, in, in your professional career along with uh, um, alongside Microsoft technologies, which means you, know, you can, they have lots and lots of documentation on any Microsoft technology in there. And then once you take any certifications, they automatically integrates with your profile in that website. Even when you are applying for MCT or enrolling for MCT, that MCT platform can automatically pick your certificates or certifications from this portal. So once you have your uh, you know, uh, profile created in learn.microsoft.com, you can explore what career path you want to take. You can get a whole lot of documentation with some hands-on exercises available in that website. So get yourself uh, prepared, learn those technologies, gain the experience, then apply for, um, then earn your certificate in that technology. So that's step one. 
Now the second prerequisite for your MCT is getting your instructional skills certificate. So personally, I went with uh, IFC Institute, that's uh, International Finance Bank Institute, that's a UK based institute, and they have instructional skill certificate called a TPMA trainer, a TPMA certified trainer. I'm going to give you all the details that are available in this uh, growlearnconnect.org website. So those are the two prerequisites. Now, once you have those two prerequisites done, you can go ahead and enroll yourself for MCT using the URL available on at, in our fourth step. I, I'll give all these uh, URLs in the description. Don't, don't need to worry. Now, I think it usually takes about five to seven business days to hear the status uh, on your MCT application from Microsoft. If not, you can uh, put a question in their uh, support portal and their pretty quick to respond to your question. Now, now you got your uh, yourself MCT badge. What are the benefits being in MCT you get from Microsoft? These are some of the uh, things that I felt like were kind of influential or driving points for me to pursue MCT. So as soon as you have that badge that gives you higher credentials, that at least tells the industry that you have expertise on both sides of things. One, you know, expertise on technical side of things. And then you also have instructional skills expertise because it's, it's not easy um, uh, to teach adults. Now, apart from getting that higher credentials, you get Azure $100 Azure credits every month um, for yourself. That means you have a playground for yourself to play with any Azure uh, technologies that you want to learn, practice, gain experience. Now, with MCT, you get all the official training materials that Microsoft creates for any of their technologies. So that means as a trainer, you don't need to create your own PowerPoints. You don't need to create your own hands-on exercises to train any of the technologies. It's already there for you. Along with this top three, you also have access to Microsoft software keys like um, Office 2021 or Visio or uh, Microsoft Project. So these are some of the uh, tools that you could use for your own personal productivity, say in your laptop, and they're available for free as an MCT, a benefit for you. Now, along with that, you know, you get discounts on any um, books, either physical or eBooks, or even some of the certifications that are being given, um, provided by Microsoft, you get discounts on that. The last one, um, some of the last one that I found useful was you get free lab access on most of the Microsoft hands-on exercises uh, for you. So which means as a trainer, if you want to get yourself familiar with all the hands-on uh, labs as part of that particular training course, you have them for free for you. So those are the top six benefits that I found useful. useful. If if I missed any any benefits, please do let me know. I'll, I'll add them there. Now, in terms of validity, Microsoft Certified Trainer is valid for one year. So if you want to renew that certificate, as a first step, you have to make sure that your prerequisites are all in active state or up to date state, which means your technical certificate usually expires in one year. So you have to make sure that you, you have renewed your technical certificate and the instructional certificate is active as well. Usually, at least the one that I took has three years validity. So as part of the renewal process, you have to either uh, submit them the proof that you have given enough trainings during that three year period, or you have to again uh, go through the certification process to get um, your instructional skills certificate renewed. So once you have your prerequisites done, you can go ahead and apply for MCT renewal but to qualify for MCT renewal, it's just having your prerequisites um, up to date is not enough. You have to have given at least one training during your current MCT period and have the feedback from students captured because you have to submit the feedback um, during the renewal process and how you 
capture the feedback. That at least one tool that Microsoft provides is called MTM, Metrics That Matter. And as an MCT, you get a free registration to that tool. And it's kind of hard to get uh, to that portal. I'll give you the dis uh, I'll give you the portal URL in a, in the description below. So that's the end of it. Before I go ahead and you know, uh, finish our today's topic, I'll quickly take you to the portal where I showed you how I mean uh, how I picked my uh, instructional skill certification. So it's called Grow, Learn, Connect. So you can go here, you can see uh, what they do, how do uh, how they teach. And I think they, they also specifically mentioned that they're one of the few uh, preferred uh, vendors in terms of instructional skills for MCT certification. Now, where can I find uh, the instructors here? So you can all the way up, you can go to resources, under that, go to events. So in here, you can see all the master trainers. So they, they call them master trainers who provide um, training for the future trainers. So you can see all the events that master trainers have planned for future. And in fact, the one I took is from the same master trainer. Her name is Sarah. She has been great, um, great trainer. And so you, you have like, around 16 hours of in-person training with them like via virtual. And then at the end of the training, you need to uh, submit your recording to be reviewed by your master trainer, and then you get your uh, final trainer certificate. So that's how you, you get the instructional skill certificate. And this one, what I found was like, you get a better value versus uh, money that you spend on your instructional skills how you can apply for your MCT. I've given the URL. Once you have your both prerequisites fulfilled, you can come to this URL. And then as soon as you come here, if you have the Microsoft Learn profile, it will automatically pick your profile. And then you have all your profile information uh, published there. As soon as you go to requirement step, it will also pick up any associate level certifications that you have with Azure. So you don't have to fill that information again. And then on the training validation phase is where you're going to pick from which vendor you, you have done your instructional skill certificate and upload that certificate. So that's, that's how you apply for your uh, MCT. With that, we have come to the end. If you like the content, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And do let me know in the comments if I missed any benefits of MCT or if I missed any any steps in the process, I would be happy to incorporate them. Have a good day. Keep learning. Thank you.